Hey everyone, Matt with Remedy Pain and Performance. This week we are talking about specialization in youth sports. So when should you start specializing? Which, when you talk about specialization, that's basically you only playing one sport. Um, Canada has what's called a long-term athletic development program um, that they try to utilize throughout their country's uh, sporting events or youth sports, that sort of thing. Um, and that's something I, I, I tend to reference a lot with, um, you know, talking to parents or athletes or uh, coaches, that sort of thing. Um, I think they do a really good job of allowing their athletes to develop fully, uh, to play a different a lot, a lot of different sports and really mature uh, in the correct way. So when should your child specialize, only play one sport? is the question. My best answer, again, this is just me, uh, I've referenced some stuff in the past, looked at some stuff, talked to some people, but the best answer I could, the simplest, easiest answer for, for me to you is when they stop growing. So that may be 16, that may be 18, that may be 19. Um, it's gonna be different for everybody, but until they get to that point, um, they should really be continuing to do a bunch of different things. Playing multiple sports, uh, if you look at there's some pretty cool data in professional sports looking at the athletes who are in professional sports and tracking when they were in college or high school or growing up how many sports they played and and almost all of them I think they did like it was almost every single starting quarterback in the NFL had played like two or more sports in high school so I think it's really good for for ment mentally for an athlete because a lot of times they can get burnt out if they're playing the same sport for 12 months out of the year and physically too. You have to think about, like let's say you're playing a rotational sport, like a baseball or tennis or any sort of thing. Um, with repetition, 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 you're never really giving your tissues uh, and your muscles time to heal or time to kind of move back. If you're always just winding one way, um, you're never really allowing your body and your tissues to recover if you're always playing the sport 12 months out of the year. So again, just a little, announcement, public service announcement for parents, athletes, coaches. Um, if you, you know, in my opinion, if you're looking to play at a high level, maybe you, you start specializing in that sport after you're done growing. Um, and again, if you look at, okay, maybe it's 16 to 18, that's the point where someone's, you know, junior, senior year of high school where they're maybe heading off to college in a year or two where they're gonna have to be a little more specialized and a little, uh, uh, dedicate a little more focus to their sport but until then hey play as much as many sports as you can and uh, go from there that's all for this week hopefully that's helpful as always send me a comment send me an email if you have questions on this stuff or uh, want to talk about it more catch you soon thanks